Today we're going to pull the uh, Kurt fifth wheel out of the back of my Dodge Ram using an engine hoist. Uh, I can do it by myself. The first thing I do is using 6x6 six six posts. I lift the two front legs out of the puck system first and lay it on a piece of 6x6. Uh, six six. Uh, then I slide the hitch forward to balance it. And then I lift the two rear ones out up onto a 6x6. Six six. Uh, then I've got to pull it back about 12 inches and the engine hoist will uh, reach it. All right, as you see, I've moved it back, um, I don't know, 12, 15 inches. Uh, it weighs about 320 pounds altogether. Um, I don't have four people to help me get it in and out all the time. So I've come up with a, a method using an engine hoist and a Demco Model 6100 uh, Kingpin hook. Don't know what else to call it, but you'll see it in a couple of minutes. All right, I've got the engine hoist ready to go, but just in, if you're considering using this method for your truck, here's an issue. Um, you can either lift the tailgate, which right now you'll see I'm sticking out too far back, or in this case here, you'll see the movement because here's your jack. So I've only got another couple of inches, and you can see I'm short here. There's the uh, Demco hook that we're going to use to lift the fifth wheel. So I still got to move the hitch back another six inches. All right, it took some adjusting, but uh, we finally got the hitch back enough that the uh, Demco bracket is now in locked in the fifth wheel. Um, the other thing you can do if you have a slider is I, I could have slid that hitch back so that I didn't have to move the entire uh, hitch back on the wood, but let's uh, let's see how well it lifts It runs so they run they run just like a car jack make sure the valve is tight and Start your lift and I've got it set on the one half ton which is uh, 1,000 pounds and This thing is very Slow at lifting but there it goes and you see it's now lifting off the wood. And then all I do now is I'll move the truck out so that I don't hit anything with this hitch. Because like I say, it weighs like 300 pounds. If it hits anything on here, it might damage it. So I will drive the truck out from under the hitch. And I'll just bring her back into my garage, set it down, and that's it. It's that simple. All right, now I've got it set down on the uh, six by six, and uh, just to leave a little bit of pressure on it, and it sits there fine. And I'll just wheel that right into my garage, and it'll stay there until I put it back in the truck. Now, if you decide to go this route, um, I'm not sure how the other engine hoists work. Uh, this is a two-ton model, um, four thousand pounds, from Canadian Tire. And it is extremely slow to lift up like it. Uh, I don't know how many pumps it takes to get it to go above the tailgate, but uh, it's for a one-man operation. It's perfect. I don't kill my back I don't drop it on my foot and I certainly don't kill the wife <laughs> All right, so that's it. Thank you so I'm not signing off yet. I was curious to see how many strokes it takes to get this thing back up to uh, 43 inches. <clears throat> the height of my tailgate, there's my truck over there, the height of the tailgate plus the 6x6 six six board is about 41 and a half inches. So I'm going to take it up 43 inches. That would clear it over top of the boards. And I'll be right back and tell you how long it took. So there you go, she's 43 inches off the ground. And it took 125 strokes of the jack. So it is pretty slow. Uh, I'm not sure whether these engine hoists are all this slow. Um, when I got it, I didn't have to put any oil in it. I bled it as per the instructions. Uh, it's the first time I've ever used an engine hoist. Um, anyways, if anybody knows, uh, a way to make it run faster. I'd appreciate the comments, but uh, yeah about 120 to 125 strokes She'll be high enough to get in the back of the truck. Thanks very much